I started YouTube because I thought that by creating a lot, I would eventually be noticed. Yes, by pure attrition, I would make my way as a creative through sustained assault aimed your way in the form of content, like I'm waging a war against irrelevance. I would make it. The mass of my art would build enough pressure to burst through the mountain of virtual media and finally be seen. <laughs> and these digital crumbs scattered everywhere on the internet in the hopes that someone somewhere will find them and will follow <laughs> the pixels back to what I make and believe that it's worth paying attention to and maybe, maybe even paying for. Who knows? <laughs> I drape my art over the algorithm and give parts of myself to the world, but you can never guarantee that people will hold your heart with kindness. My aim was not to bombard you endlessly with my content like some digital attack, but rather to practice the different skills of filmmaking, like editing and making storytelling decisions, because I was also holding on to this idea of opportunity meets preparation. I am holding my skills so that if one day opportunity strikes, I will be ready. I also thought it might help me meet more like-minded creatives. If I'm honest, it's also a little to prove to myself that I am in fact a filmmaker, camera in hand and content to show. Another reason I'm making YouTube content that's maybe a little less, I hadn't really set out to do this because I want to keep some things to myself, but I do inevitably end up making a record of memories and places I've been to. Another positive side effect of social media is that it has forced me to back my art. You can't exactly wait for someone else to do that. No one else will. No one owes you that support. So in a way, social media pushes me to share my art and then promote it, which allowed me to get past the cringe element of putting my art out there and worrying that I'm taking up space that I shouldn't in this oversaturated environment. Actually, never mind. That's a lie. I still very much worry about wasting people's attention and time. Like, am I adding garbage to the universe of existing content, or am I carving out a space for myself? Are they even mutually exclusive? I don't know. Inclusive. In the meantime, I guess I'll just keep making stuff. <laughs>